Welcome to another SP Page Builder video tutorial. Today, we'll go through how to use the new color variables and color switcher features to add diverse styles to your web pages. So let's get started. From your Joomla backend, go to Components, navigate to SP Page Builder Pro, and select Settings. This is where you access the color library, where you can define and manage color variables across your entire site. Now, let's get started with the steps to bring this beautiful feature to life. Step 1. Create color variables. Under the global colors, click on New Variable to begin. Give your variable a name, such as primary text, and select a default color value. We'll use this variable for the text throughout the website. Create another variable for the background. Let's set the default background color to white. Step 2. Create color modes. Initially, you'll only have one default mode. At the top right of the color library, click on New Mode. This creates a new column. You can rename this mode as Dark. Since we set the text color to black in the default mode, Let's make it white in dark mode. Similarly, let's set the background's dark mode variation to eerie black. For each variable you've defined, assign a different color value for every mode. Step 3. Managing variables and modes. You can duplicate or delete rows and columns, with rows indicating the variables and columns indicating the modes. To duplicate or delete a column, Click the three-dot menu next to the mode name and choose the appropriate option. For the rows, hover over the variable row, click the three-dot menu, and select your action. To rename a variable or mode, just click on its name and type a new label. Step 4. Enable the color switcher. Once your color variables and modes are set up, it's time to activate the color switcher on your site. While in SP Page Builder settings, click on Options, and under the Advanced tab, enable the setting labeled Show Color Switcher. This enables a front-end toggle that allows your site visitors to switch between modes, such as light and dark. Step 5. Assign color variables to your layout elements. Finally, you need to apply these variables to the add-ons of your SP Page Builder pages. Head over to Pages in SP Page Builder and select a page, such as the default home page. Let's update the Hero section for now. Click on the first text add-on and select the Style tab. Under the Color Options, you will find the options to change the colors of the text, link, and the link's hover state. Click on the Color Settings icon on the right side. You will get a new menu from which you can choose between the variations you have created in the color library or choose from the template presets. Select the primary text variation. To change the background, click on the Heroes section and select Color under the Background tab. Follow the same method and set the color variation. Repeat this for the remaining parts of the Hero section as well as the rest of the page. While only the default variable appears during selection, SP Page Builder automatically adjusts it based on the user's selected mode on the live site. Once you're done, it's time to view the result on your live site. The color switcher is now visible. When clicked, your website instantly switches between light and dark modes, updating all linked color variables in real time. And that's it! You've just set up a dynamic theme-adaptive website using SP Page Builder's Color Switcher. Stay tuned for more tutorials on SP Page Builder.